Dear viewers, first of all, let me thank you all for the very generous praise that you have been giving for my videos and also for the numerous suggestions which have come from you. Many of you have asked questions and therefore in a series of short videos, what I propose to do is in order to make it viewer friendly, I'm going to try to answer some of the questions which you have asked. So since the questions have come from you, I hope uh, number one, it will be useful to you. And number two, you will be happy that I'm actually reading your feedback and getting back to you about what you actually want. So thank you very much uh, for that. On that note, one of the questions which people ask is about root vegetables, because I keep talking about taking non-starchy vegetables. And I've spoken a lot about that. So then people say, what about the starchy vegetables? What about potato? What about beetroot? And what about carrot? Are they all the same, beetroot, carrot, and potato? Can you lump them together as far as uh, people with diabetes is concerned? You can't. And the reason for that is that potato is completely starchy. So potato is just like rice. In fact, if you look at the glycemic index of potato, it is over 70 and it is just like rice. So it's like whether you take rice or whether you take potato, it's the same. So if you're cutting down on rice, but taking a lot of potato, it finally will end up taking a lot of starch. So limit your potato intake, just enough for some taste here and there. Because remember that the it is pure starch and the glycemic index is very high. Now let's come to carrot. Carrot, you really cannot put in the same bracket as potato. Why? Because first of all, nutrient wise, carrots cannot be compared with potato. It's much more nutritionally dense and it has so many other benefits. To start with, the glycemic index of carrot is below 55. So it's a big difference from the high GI of potato. So it actually comes under the low GI. So by taking carrot, your sugar is not going to go up because your glycemic index is low. Number two, carrots contain fiber. As you bite your carrot itself, you know, it's not like biting potato, isn't it? So it is fibrous. It even tends to get stuck between your teeth. There's so much of fiber. Indian diets contain less of fiber. Therefore, taking carrots is very good. But don't overcook the carrot. In fact, you don't have to cook it at all. Why should you even cook the carrot? Just clean it and take it raw. The more raw food you take, like nature designed you to take it, it's better for your health. You're living closer to nature when you don't overcook the foods. And therefore, you can just cut the carrots and, and eat it uh, just as raw carrot itself. It's very tasty and it has full of fiber. And when you overcook it, you tend to lose some of the nutrients. Remember also that carrots contain carotenoids. And we know that for night vision and so on, it contains vitamin A. And therefore, this vitamin A is very good for your eyesight. And therefore, we teach school children also that to preserve your eyesight, you take carrots. So carrots are nutritionally very good. They contain carotenoids. They contain a lot of fiber. They make an excellent salad. So along with your tomato or your cucumber, it becomes complete. I always tell in my videos that if you have vegetables of different color, it is good for you. So select, so your orange color you're straight away getting from your carrot, okay? Then you have radish, which can be white in color. Then you can get green leafy vegetables, red tomato, you get uh, brinjal. You get. So different, different, different colored items. Beetroot contains beet and therefore it is red in color. So if you take carrot, it is generally good for you. It's also quite filling and nutritionally very good and contains a lot of fiber. So people with diabetes can definitely take carrots. Don't lump them 
in the same bracket as potato. What about beetroot? People are scared about beetroot because of the red color. That is nothing but some pigment. It contains beta cyanin and other pigments which give the red color to it. If you look at the GI, the glycemic index of beetroot, it is between carrot and potato. I said carrot is below 55 and uh, potato is above 70. Now, this will be somewhere around 60, 60, 61. So, it comes under the medium GI. It is not a high GI food and it's nutritionally very, very good. And therefore, beetroot can also be taken. Carrot is number one preference. Number two is uh, beetroot. And as far as potato is concerned, better to cut it down if not avoid it. So every time you sit to eat, whether it is breakfast or lunch or dinner, ask yourself one question. Where are the veggies? Where are the vegetables in my meal? And if it's not there, request for it and see that you take vegetables with every meal. Thank you.